Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the full version of Open Automation software on a Raspberry Pi. In order to install OAS on a Raspberry Pi, you will need to have a Raspberry Pi 4 with at least 4 GB of memory, preferably 8. For this video, I have the Ubuntu Linux distribution installed on my Raspberry Pi, but you can use other Linux distributions as well. If you go to the Open Automation Software website at www.openautomationsoftware.com and click on Support, Knowledge Base, Getting Started with OAS, OAS System Requirements, Operating System, you will see a list of the Linux versions that we support. The first thing you will need to do is download a copy of the Linux ARM64 installation from our website. It is important that you get the ARM64 for Linux. This installation will be a zip file. Once you have it downloaded, copy it over to your Raspberry Pi device. You will need root permissions to run the installation, so either log in as a root user or a user who has root permissions. Once you are logged into your Raspberry Pi as a root user, navigate to where you have placed the zip file for the OAS installation. Then type unzip space oas-linux-arm64.zip. If you don't have an unzip program on your Raspberry Pi, it will prompt you to install one. Your other option is to unzip it before you transfer it to the Raspberry Pi device. Once it unzips, you can type ls to list the files. You can see that the file unzips into a directory called oas-linux-arm64. Now we need to go into one of the new directories. So type cd space oas-linux-arm64 forward slash daemon to go there. Then type ls. There are two files in the directory. The first is oas-engine.service, which is a configuration file that you don't need to do anything with. The second is oas underscore install.sh, which is the installation script, so we need to mark that as an executable. To do that, type chmod space plus x space oas underscore install dot sh. Now we can execute it, so type sudo space dot forward slash oas underscore install dot sh. It will now prompt you to enter a user account under which the OAS service should run. If you have an account that you would like it to run under, you can specify it. If you leave it blank and just press enter, it will create a user called OAS user and run it under that. I'm going to do that. Next, it will prompt you to enter a password for the user and then to confirm the password. It will then tell you that it has created the user and that it is installing the OAS engine into the directory forward slash home forward slash OAS user forward slash oas-linux-arm64 forward slash. It will then ask you if you want to start the OAS engine. Type Y. The OAS service is configured to automatically start when the system reboots. If you power down your Raspberry Pi and restart it, the OAS service will start automatically. Now let's open up the OAS configuration app and browse the tags on the Raspberry Pi device we just installed the service on. First, we will need to activate the demo license. Select Configure License from the top menu. In the Network Node drop-down list, enter the IP address of your Raspberry Pi and hit Select. You will see a red Activate Demo button. Click the button and you will be good to go. We can close that tab now. Next, select Configure Tags from the top menu. Again, we need to enter the IP address of the Raspberry Pi in the Network Node drop-down box and choose Select. The demo tags that are installed with OAS now appear in our tag browser. I will click on this ramp tag and we can see the live data streaming in from our Raspberry Pi. Let's take a moment now and I will show you how to manually start and stop the OAS service. So in your command window, log in as the OAS user or whatever user you configured and execute systemctl dash dash user space stop space 
OAS-Engine. You can see that in the configuration app that the service is now off. I will start it back up again now by executing systemctl space dash dash user space start base OAS dash engine. If I select the network node again, you can see that the service is running again. Now let's open a browser window and look at the demo web HMI dashboard that is also installed with OAS. Enter the IP address of the Raspberry Pi colon the port number forward slash app forward slash home. A login window appears. This login is for if you have security configured for your OAS engine and have yourself locked down the default security group. There is more information about configuring security in the OAS knowledge base. If you haven't done that, you can just click login without entering any credentials. This screen here is our demo tank screen. It is hooked to simulated tags running on the Raspberry Pi. I'm going to pull up the configuration app so the windows are side by side. Here is the pump2 tag in the configuration, currently set to true or on, just like it is in the HMI screen. So now, on the HMI screen, I will turn the pump off and we can see the tag change in the configuration. And now that the pump is off and not pumping water out of our tank, we can see that it starts to fill up. If I turn it back on, it changes in the configuration back to true and the water level starts to drop. Pretty cool. So now let's add a new module to the dashboard. Imagine you had your Raspberry Pi hooked up to some device out in the field. Now you wanted to see what the device was doing. With the demo dashboard, you can easily see that information. I will select add new module from the top menu and then choose numeric tag. There are other options you can choose as well. Now it appears on the screen. I will click the settings icon on the top to configure it. A configuration screen appears. We can either enter a tag name here or we can use the tag browser to select one. I will do that. I'm going to choose the sign tag here and click save. Next, under label, I will enter my sign value and I will set the min-max values to 0 and 1 so that the gauge will display properly. And I will format it to two decimal places. Save. Now let's pull up the configuration app and look at the sign tag that is running on the Raspberry Pi. We can see that the new module we added matches its value, formatted to two decimal places. Also, our gauge is set to display from 0 to 1 just like the sign value. Now let's look at the alarm screen on the dashboard. We can see all the alarms that are on the tags on our server. We can grab down here and adjust this to the size we want. We can also configure the grid to show what we want by clicking the settings icon. We can filter by alarm type, by alarm status, by alarm group and priority. We can choose here what columns we want to show. There is also a trend screen on the dashboard. Again, you can adjust the size to fit your viewing area. This demo is set up to trend the sign, ramp, and random tags that are part of the demo tag configuration. You can use the setting icons to change this to trend any number of tags as long as they are configured for trending, and change the time frame, colors, etc. You can find more information on how to configure the web HMI dashboard in our knowledge base at openautomationsoftware.com forward slash knowledge dash base under Data Destinations, Web User Interface, Web HMI Dashboard. For more information on open automation software, please visit our website at www.openautomationsoftware.com.